This week in physical education, it's all about locomotor skills week two. Check it out. Yeah. Welcome back boys and girls. We are here again talking to you about locomotor skills. We have a few new ones we're gonna talk to you about today. But first, let's review the ones that we did on the last lesson. Yeah, let's review. So locomotor skills, okay, are skills that help you get from one place to another, okay? So you're moving your body from point A to point B using those locomotor skills. Remember the four we worked on last week? It could have been hopping, it could have been jumping, or it could have been walking or running. Those were the four we worked on last week. This week, we got four more. Tell them what they are, Coach. We got skipping, sliding, galloping, and leaping. These four locomotor skills are my favorite. I like them more than the ones we did last mm. week. Now, the ones last week are the ones we probably use more often, but these four are more fun because we don't use them as often. And they can be uh, like, you know, something fresh. All right, so I want you to think about the locomotor movements we have learned. So we're gonna be talking about these four locomotor movements and the ones that we just talked about that are on the back, okay? Think about those locomotor movements that we've learned so far. Then we want you to think about some similarities and some differences between them all. So what are ways that they are similar and what are ways they are different? You can talk about, they might, you might use them in the same sport. You might use them in different sports. Mm -hmm. You might use the same body part. You might use a different body part. So please think about how those locomotive movements are similar and different, okay? Coach, hit them up with the goal. Yep, our goal is exactly the same as last time. Um, you're gonna be applying these locomotor skills in a variety of movement settings. So we want you to take all of yeah. the old ones from last week and the new ones from this week, and we want you to be able to use them and apply them in different settings. Yeah, remember we talked about settings. Some settings might be in your sport settings. Another setting, you might use these locomotor skills are in everyday situations. Walking, across the crosswalk, salsa dancing, Ooh. who knows? It could be any type of those <laughs> settings, all right? So coach, tell them about their hot question for the week. Hot question this week is we want you to pick your favorite locomotor skill that you've been practicing and we want you to create a new way that you can make that skill more challenging for you. Okay, so for example, coach, if I'm at home and I have to do this hot question, I have to pick my favorite locomotor skill, mine is galloping. So I gotta find a way to make that harder for myself, right? Is that what you're saying? Yes, exactly. Okay, all right, yeah, all right. It's a little bit challenging, but we want you to come up with something that you can do. So. All right, so boys and girls, let's recap. We're working on these four locomotor movements this week. Okay, also we'll have a discussion where you need to post about our hot question, okay? How you can make your locomotor movement more difficult and challenging for yourself, yeah. okay? And you will find all that stuff on the bottom, after you scroll past our Google Slides, you'll see the link for our discussion uh, question. Also, make sure you're catching up with us on our weekly Zoom, okay? Check the schedule, check your Zoom code, all right? And check your password, all right? Make sure you're getting those discussions done and your assignment, assignments done. Other than that, got anything else, Coach? No, I think that about covers it. I got something else. Uh-oh. Go Bucks. <laughs> Week one, football. You know about Coach, he loves his Bucks. Other than that, See you on the See flip later. side. Skipping. Begin by facing and moving in a forward direction. Your body should remain in an upright position. Take a step forward and then perform a hop on the same foot while swinging your arms. Repeat on the other foot. Step forward and then hop while swinging your arms. Alternate feet and use the step hop, step hop pattern as you travel while swinging your arms. Keep your knees bent and be light on your feet. Sliding. Stand sideways to the direction you want to travel. Keep your body upright and look in the direction of travel. Step sideways with your front foot in the path you want to move. 
After stepping with your front foot, draw your back foot towards your lead foot. Continue this side to side movement without crossing your legs. Your body should move in a smooth and rhythmical motion. Galloping. Face and move in a forward direction. Your body should remain in an upright position. Step forward with your lead foot and close with your back foot. Keep your same leg in the lead while you move forward. Your back leg chases your front leg but should not go ahead of it. Keep your knees bent and be light on your feet as you travel. Leaping. Start facing forward and use several running steps to lead into the leap. Take off on one foot and stretch out in the air in a split lunge position. Cover a large distance and land softly on your other foot. Keep your head up and look in a forward direction. Keep your arms out and extend your legs while you are in the air. Bend your front knee and hip to cushion your landing.